What if he's going to enter that from this? He's just doing slow. That, he's doing rolls while flying at extremely slow speed. Maintaining altitude. You can see those surfaces kicking over each time as he rolls rudder, elevator, rudder, elevator. The pilot inside is probably screaming, Mercy, mercy me. Why? Just hovering the plane over the runway. Just keeping it moving. Those walking at the length of the runway. Just keeping it going. Turning it around on a dime. Many of us would like to be able to fly like this. It's almost got that rudder touching the ground. It's down so low. Gives you a sense of the size of this airplane with Kiki standing beside it. You can tell it's very large. He's just getting it all set exactly the way he wants it. As we're climbing away now. Beautifully done. How about a round of applause for Kiki on that maneuver? That was beautifully executed. He's putting the brakes on. He's starting to spool her up. You can hear the engine spooling up. It's going to release the brakes here shortly. And you'll watch this thing accelerate. Awesome acceleration. Look at it go. And away. High speed to knife edge to four point roll. Sorry. To a four point roll there. The race of the south end. Slow speed pass. Putting on the power now to climb. Up into a oh, oh he's doing a Cuban egg here. There he is, one side of the Cuban egg. Power up. Over the top. 45 degrees. Rolls. And that's the completion of the Cuban egg. Beautifully demonstrated. There's three. There's four. Four points to that roll. Isn't that pretty? Just nice and slow. He's doing a procedural turn out there. All in slow flight. Just under 200 miles an hour. Up into a vertical climb. This is just beautiful. Down the runway. Power back on and he begins to climb it up. Gears come down. You can see he's lowered the landing gear for landing approach. Just to fly by the pilot to verify that everything is down and locked into position. Kent will now just adjust, adjust for the wind conditions now. Just checking which way he's going to come from, the right or the left. It's a crosswind which makes it a little more challenging which side to pick. Seems to be favoring the left side so he's going to come in off the right side. Hearing the top of the hedges. A beautiful landing. How about a big round of applause for Ken Snoggy and the King Cat, the Bob Violet King Cat. So right now, Kiki is just testing out everything. You saw the smoke kick on just to make sure it's working. I'm going to get lost in the cloud here for 30 seconds. The runway. He's going to get the engine ready. Be prepared for this takeoff because it's fast. It's wicked. You never know what he's going to throw in. So you hear that turbine spooling up? Turbo props on. Lifting off. Looks to inverted right away. Low. Both on. Both sides. He's doing a vertical roll. 
Look at that nice helical pattern that's created as that climbs vertically off. For SOS by the pilot, help me, what am I doing in here? It's too late for that one that's in the cockpit. There he's got the smoke on, climbing, 45 degrees. Back down, what's he making here? Coming up around another 45 degree. My goodness, that looks like a heart. He's made a heart in the sky for all the women in the audience. Wait a minute, he's coming through the heart. He's doing the arrow through the heart. So to the lovely ladies at the air show today, okay? There he is doing a pass. Just showing the control on this aircraft. He's gone into knife edge. He's doing a slow roll on this circle. Low and slow. So he's gone halfway through the circle, halfway through the roll. There he is on the knife edge. Back into upright just as he enters front and center. Beautifully demonstrated. That's hard to do and keep the exact altitude the whole time. So he's slowing the plane right down. He's going to have lots of elevator to bring it into this position. Got the smoke on. Back to inverted. You can see how much elevator. If you look closely, the elevator is all the way, all the way deflected in both directions. Bring it closer down. Tight turn. Lining it up for a vertical. It's going to start to to slowly walk the heli the airplane along the runway. He's flying it just like a helicopter. Got a puff of smoke, so you remember where he is. Got it hovering now. This is now flying on the prop. The whole weight of the airplane is being carried by the propeller right now. Doing a torque roll, low to the ground, less than a foot off the runway with that rudder. Not even less than a foot now. He's probably within inches. And he's doing a climb up. Smoke's on. Just so you don't lose sight of where he is, he left you a little trail to follow him. That was gorgeous. Spin. Followed by inverted spin into a hover again. Going to inverted flight. Looks like he's doing a harrier here. He keep makes these hard maneuvers look so easy. He's doing deflection, elevator becomes rudder, rudder becomes elevator, elevator becomes rudder again, and vice versa. They just keep changing. Display of the finish on that airplane, nicely demonstrated, low flyby. And touching down perfectly front and center. How about a big round of applause for Kike Samanzini and the Yak, turbine-powered Yak. If you want to see more of that kind of flying, please drop by tomorrow because Kike is going to have that plane up in the air as well as the Ultimate he'll be flying tomorrow. You're going to see quite a few flights happening tomorrow. If you're not able to make it, pass it on to your friends. Let them know the air show is on again tomorrow. Let them know if you had a good time. Don't forget our donation box at the entranceway. Donate what you think the air show was worth to you. If you had a good time, then donate. If you didn't really enjoy yourself, that's fine too. Let us know what you might have missed.